Welcome back live at MyNC. Let's talk social media interaction, specifically Twitter. A lot of us tweet to let friends and family know what we're doing or possibly where we are, but that may be a very public invitation for trouble. As a family near San Francisco found out, the Hyman family recently came home from a vacation in Kansas to find that their home had been broken into. Police are looking into the very real possibility that the thieves knew the family was gone out of town because of a Twitter posting. Some people warn that posting too personal information is just downright risky. Others say there's nothing to worry about. Without proof, it's just sort of alarmism. I mean, you can't say he, he shouldn't have said that he was going on vacation because some, some criminal was following on Twitter. We don't know for sure if that's what caused the break-in, uh, but it sure gives you pause to you know, think about what it is that you're publicly going to broadcast on the Internet. So we batted this topic around today with you on our social sites, and let's hear what some of you were talking about. Over on Facebook, Paula DeLong writes, I don't worry about it because I'm not stupid enough to do it. Phoebe Lanfried said, that's the great thing about privacy settings. Of course, that works well with Facebook. Laura Bergman, whatever happened to common sense, she says, why would you post any of that information for other people to have? Well, that got us wondering how much information is too much information when using all that social media out there, and could it put you at risk like that family? Joining me live now to talk about it all, the president of Ignite Social Media, a local company, Jim Tobin. Jim, thanks for being here with us. Thank you. So you see this every day. This is your business, and you see a lot of information people put out there, right? Yeah, and I put a lot out there. Yeah, and, and it, a lot of times it gets detailed, and there's certain other engines people can use that even gives away their specific location of where they are, such as BrightKite, which shows a map, and they may right. even post a picture on TwitPic. What do you think about all that? Well, you know, you have to think about a couple things. You have to think about who your friends are. I mean, I have 2,000 people who subscribe to my Twitter uh, feed, and I don't know who those people are. So I don't know who all of them are. So if you're putting something out on Twitter where you don't have the privacy settings that you have on Facebook, you should take a second to think about it before it goes out. And, and maybe that's what it is. You were explaining earlier with me, uh, you know, this is seconds. So you're doing something. It's e so easy these days to just pop up a status or put something out there. And maybe that's what this family did. Hey, looking forward to vacation, leaving now or leaving tomorrow. Well, hello, that's the invitation, right? Yeah, I think most of us have as our main defense against this that we're boring and people don't look for what we do. But if you have, you know, nefarious intention, you can very easily narrow in on people in Raleigh who use the phrase out of town in a tweet. You could do that in minutes um, and figure out through other things where they live. It's not very difficult to do. So, you know, I don't want to panic anybody, but it's just like every tweet you send, you have to think about this is going out in the public, this is going up forever. Am I comfortable with this? And that's the that's the good point there. Obviously, not to panic anyone. And we do this stuff all day long. We're all conversing on it, but it's the same time of uh, just stepping back and thinking what you would put out there because Twitter, again, are people that you don't know who they are. You wouldn't just walk up to a stranger on the street and start telling them things. Right, and I, I, I have three daughters. I never use their first names in anything I post. I never say the school they go to. I mean, you just think about things like that because even if you say it to your subscribers, followers, friends, somebody in that network can send it on to their friends. So uh, it's not as tightly locked down as some people think. So that kind of caution is, is wise in anything you want to send out. Certainly so. Jim Tobin with Ignite Social Media. Thanks for spending some time and talking about it, Jim. Thank you.